Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BJ Tech News. In today's video, guys, I'm going to show you how to move your Exchange 2013 database or databases. So let's begin. So what we're going to do is we're going to want to log in into our Exchange console. So I'm going to log in. And the reason what I want, the reason why I want to move my Exchange database, because let's say uh, your Exchange database has become bigger and bigger and bigger and you you left it as the C drive as your default location when you installed it and you need to move it so what I did I created a partition E I created a folder called exchange underscore DB because this is where I want to drop it so within your console you want to go into servers databases make sure the database that you want to move is highlighted click on the little pencil to edit uh, keep in mind the location of the database is right here and also the name of the database okay jot that stuff down cool once you got that stuff already jotted down I'm gonna log out sign out close that and we want to go into our start menu and start our exchange management shell prompt command now I have my little note right here which I will provide the link at the bottom of the video at the description part so you guys can check it out and I'm gonna be using the move dash database path PowerShell command uh, commandlet uh, the parameter will be identity the name of the database and another parameter of EDB file path this is the location of where I want to drop it okay now take in consideration when you when you naming the identity do not put the dot edb because you will receive an error uh, when you're providing the path do provide the edb so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this command go back into my shell I'm do a CLS to clear it out and I'm going to paste it and I'm gonna hit enter once you hit enter you're gonna get confirm are you sure you want to perform this action uh, yes big Y for yes and it's gonna start performing this action and confirm to perform the move operation database mailbox uh, database must be tem temporarily dismounted which will make it accessible to all users do you want to continue hit yes on this so right now is dismounting the database and it's doing the command of moving it to where we want it that's a good thing that's what we want okay and we are back so it's completed so the way that you guys could check is either two ways you can log into your console and or you can check out the directory of where you actually told it to you know drop it to so I'm gonna do both I'm gonna go into the path and go into my volume e exchange DB and there it goes uh, if you want to double check to make sure that it didn't just make a replicate copy of it uh, log it into your console which I'm gonna do right now I'm going to log into my console and I'm going to log in. And you will go to the same place that we went. We're going to go to servers, databases, let it load up, make sure it's selected, hit the edit. And if you hit the edit, if everything went well, you will see the new path location. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video of how to move your Exchange 2013 database to another location. Uh, please give me thumbs up. Please give me likes. Uh, please leave comments if you have any any concerns or any other best practices. What do you actually think of moving your database? Is it a good thing or a bad thing? Let me know. Uh, and I catch you guys on the next episode or our video. Actually, peace out.